Six of his last 25, and the first pitch delivered by Clayton for strike one. They're really looking for a fastball. 32nd time this year that Brown goes down on strikes. It's the first out of the afternoon. Will impact him coming in today from a mental standpoint. So far, so good. Both outs recorded by way of the strikeout. It's working on an eight-game hitting streak. Benjamin Blackwell first pitch swinging as he normally does, and the Tigers have a leadoff man on with the game's first hit. Green at third. Second one. On to first. 5-4-3, and that does it for the Tigers in inning number one. Tiger from Green Bay, Wisconsin this season. Pioli sneaks it in the first base bag and down the right field line. It'll be extra bases for the left fielder with one away. He'll pull into second base with his sixth double of the season. 1-1 one, one pitch. Rip to right. Pretty well hit. Grice back. He'll watch it go. The beat goes on for the right fielder of the Wolfpack. A couple more RBIs in the series. Give him a second home run this weekend. Third on the year, and Souls puts the pack up 2-0 here in the second. Tough break on Clayton. The pitch before was actually a strike. He didn't get the call. And through the right side. Came into the game hitting 3.06. And he's got the Tigers' second hit of the afternoon. Again, Highfield's payoff pitch up the middle and through. Corbett will make the turn and head to third. Tigers will have him on the corners now with two away. Corbett, the runner at third. Runner at first on the move right, but it doesn't matter. And down on strikes goes Brewer. Two it was one for two. Finish up the game behind the plate, and he's going to have extra bases to lead things off here in the third. Leadoff double for the catcher for the NC State Wolfpack. And sky to left, pretty well hit, really well hit, and out of here. Second homer of the game for the Wolfpack. Second of the two-run variety, and it's 4-0 here in the third. James Griever, Groover continues to hit. Now a 14-game streak. It's his third homer of the season. He's driven home 18. His 26th season, Ferry, 3-2 pitch, sky on the left side of the infield. And it'll be the third baseman, Green, and he couldn't hold on. Payoff pitch up the middle. Nice job, Hood on to first, not in time. Infield single, first and second for the Tigers to start things out here in the third. And he takes ball four, leads the Tigers in that category. This is 26th free pass of the season. Clemson has him loaded. Leads the Tigers with seven home runs to short, to second, and on to first. The run will score. No RBI for Wagner, but a big, big double play induced. And for a second straight time in this game, Tigers have likely cut further into this lead. Second free pass issued. You know, pitchers always play with stuff. I was just never very good at it. Jarrett, the second baseman. And the Tigers are done here in the third. They push one across. Fantastic series. Six of nine on the weekend make it seven of ten. Noah Souls may ask his coach if they can just play all their games here. <laughs> From Clayton. Right field, it'll get down. Second hit in the series. Souls had to wait to make sure that Grice didn't have a chance to catch it, so payoff pitch to Brown. And they're loaded. For third home run of the season. This time to right field and pretty well hit. And Grice on the hill will pull it in. Off the bat, that looked a lot better than it turned out to be. Yeah, he was 4-1. He wasn't on a pitch count as a leadoff man on. Innings. Sky to left, pretty well hit. Pioli back, the hill, the wall, and it's gone. And Blake Wright keeps swinging the big lumber. It's a 4-3 game. Big hit, especially since he took a slider. Caught it about belt high, drove it.
deep. Really important after missing, I think, a great opportunity last inning to really score a bunch. Fifth homer this season, second on the weekend for Wright. And that caught a piece of him. He's not real happy about it. And a one-out base runner for the Wolfpack. But you got to get over that. And you saw that ball run in as well. For his last five. Center field. Coming in Brewer going out Blackwell. The shortstop will make the catch. And one of the few times this weekend Clemson has been able to retire. And a good at bat to lead things off here in the fifth. 3-2 pitch. Two walks to start things out for the Tigers in the fifth. Right in the fourth. Here's the payoff pitch. And that's going to get inside the line fair. And we'll head into the left field corner. Wagner scores easily. Makes it a 4-4 game. They hold Hawkins at third into second with the double. Tyler Corbett and the Tigers have the game all even up. And something going here in the fifth. Fifth double this season for Corbett. In the fourth, he flied out to left. Chopper on the right side. That should get a run home. It will. The Tigers take a 5-4 lead. Their first lead of the afternoon. Two for two days so far. Make it three for three. Give him another RBI. Three in the game. And the Tigers have a two-run advantage. It's six to four. Good co concentration right there. That ball was down, and he went and got it. You'll see his whole body drop down to drive that ball through the gap. 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to close it out for the Tigers in the fifth inning. Program the former Riverside High standout that he plays center field. Not the way the Tigers, though, want to see the top of the sixth inning start. 2-2. Right field going to get down. They'll wave the runner, and it's a 6-5 game. Three RBIs on the afternoon for the NC State first baseman coming through with a two-out RBI single. Here's on the year. Line to left, Ingle in. He'll watch it fall in front of him. So a couple of two-out hits have him on first and second. He's seven. And was hit by a pitch last time. That one almost caught him on the elbow. The runners will advance on the wild pitch. And they are going to say it was hit by the pitch. Okay, now they're saying intentionally walked, and that's why, because so it didn't hit him. A very big pitch coming from Ammons to Pioli. And he walks in the tying run. Pioli driving home, an 18th run on the season. Chopper to third, Wagner fires across. And the Tigers able to get out of the jam here in the sixth inning. Leave the bases loaded. But 388 when the day began. Right center field. Let's see if it gets down. Diving try. Unable to come away with it. One of the few things he hasn't done well this weekend. Souls. Got him looking to end the inning. Tigers get a hit. Leave one. A few times he was retired. Came last time up. But once again, he'll reach yet another hit. Three more in the game today. A couple of singles and a home run. Nope. Pretty well hit to center. Grice, his first opportunity in center field off the wall. Never really had a chance to run it down. Second and third, nobody out for the pack here in the top half of the seventh inning. Olinchuk delivers. Up the middle, diving try, going to get into center field. It'll score one. And the throw up the line. And French almost had a chance to tag out Green. Trailing Souls. Two-run single makes it an 8-6 game. Tried to get him on the slider, but he left the spinner up rather than that good bite that he had earlier Third on. Third place hitter in their order. Runner goes. Throw down. Out. French firing to Blackwell. Retiring Devontae Brown. With 11 strikeouts on the year. Backhanded by Hood, the shortstop. Strong throw. And he's able to get right 
Tigers retired in order. Fly down to centers next time up. This time, Wagner tried to scoop it. Let's see how they score it. And it'll be a 13th hit in the game for the NC State team. Two pitch. Chopped Wagner. And that'll do it for the pack in the top of the eighth. They strand a runner. And wins. Right field, another hit for Blackwell. Boy, he is on some kind of tear. Third of the afternoon. Pitcher to hit. Through the left side, seeing I Granter, that's just the kind of hitter that Engel has been throughout this year. He is so solid, his coach calls him old school. And Skied on the right side. Groover has room and falling down, able to make the catch for out number three. An adventure for the Wolfpack first baseman this season. Four pitch walk to start things out in the NC State ninth. And their runners on second and third at the time. And another hit for Godman. Puts him on first and second with one away. Lined into left field. They'll wave souls. Third hit on the day for Groover. Adding to his RBI total. And it's a 9-6 game. Grice due up in the home ninth. That gets away from French. Runners will advance. Now second and third with two away. Out of a jam and limited to just one run for the pack. And he does. Second straight time that Hood goes down on strikes. And did he catch a piece of Hawkins? It did. He was in an 0-2 hole category. Lined in the left. Another hit for the Tigers' second baseman. Looks like a completely different batter over the past few weeks than he did for the first month of the season with his team down by three. And he lines it. That'll work just fine. Gapper left center field. Hawkins scores easily. Runners at second and third. 9-7 now our scores. They hold right. And French coming through with a big two-out double. Tightens things up. Third two-bagger this season for the Tigers catcher. In his freshman season, 2-2. Two -two. And that'll do it. Villeman, 92-mile-an-hour fastball to get Lewis looking. And NC State taking the final two games to win this series.